Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from The Red Collectors. And today I'm doing a response video to Do You Nerd, a channel that a few weeks ago did a cover of what is in their cleaning kit for the retro gaming community. They asked a bunch of other collectors to showcase what they have in their cleaning kits. So I decided to shoot a video for myself. If you haven't already, please subscribe to Do You Nerd. They put up great content and I hope that they get to their next milestone real soon. When out thrifting or out at video game swaps, I like to look for games like much other collectors do. And I come across games that tend to have, you know, their stickers on them and take them home and try to get to the root of the problem, how to get these stickers off as quickly as possible. I use a vast amount of cleaning stuff, probably more than I should actually. Uh, I use cotton swabs and a few other rags and, and other stuff, but nothing works as well as Goo Gone. Nice. Goo Gone is one of my favorite things to get off stickers, especially the residue. It doesn't harm the label whatsoever, as long as you're not scrubbing too hard on it. You can also go in a less abrasive way, rubbing alcohol. This is a 70%, I got this at a dollar store. It's a, in a spray bottle and I have a replacement that I could you know, swap out or fill this up whenever I need to. This goes hand in hand as well with Q-tips, which are a huge part of getting into the cartridges and loose bits of gunk that are on consoles in the back and it actually does a very good job of loosening some of this stuff up with some goo gone or with some rubbing alcohol it does a very very good job and whatever the q-tips don't do a toothbrush will do a fairly good job in itself this actually gets really deep into the crevices of games and especially controllers where they have that gunk that's in their controller it's really nasty this will do an amazing job at showing what is in there and what's buried in there. One thing I just started using and I haven't really used too much of it is compressed air. It's good for, you know, like cleaning up areas, the like consoles and stuff like that. You just do a little brisk to get some loose bits of dust and lint and pollen and all that stuff out. But I've never really had that issue. I usually just, you know, shake it about and blow on it myself. Wow. But this does saves me some air, I guess. To get into those consoles and cartridges, I use a various amount of screwdrivers and bits. This is a Torx bit that's more for an N64, Sega Genesis. They basically fit very well. And uh, Phillips head, flathead, they do a wondrous job in actually getting inside of consoles and games and, and a whole bunch of other things. This actually does a good job at prying some stuff too. When I buy a new CD or DVD or even a new Dreamcast game, I like to replace the cases if they're cracked or damaged, as swapping out the cases if they're all cracked and scuffed and all that. So these are just some replacements that do a wondrous job at doing that. A few other things that I like to have around are Ziploc bags twist ties and rubber bands. They are great for controllers to tie up controllers, you know, if you want to display them or whatever. And rubber bands, the same purpose. And for Ziplocs for memory cards or even for screws and bits, any extra pieces that I take off from one and try to replace into another, or if I come across an extra pieces that are, don't belong, this is a great method of uh, storing and labeling them in there which is fantastic and one of my last things which if you don't have one of these in your collection or in your clean kits you should actually look into getting one you can get a hot air gun i got a very cheap blow dryer i got this for like three dollars and it does wondrous it helps you pry off some stickers that are a little bit more stubborn it heats it up real good and then you could just peel it off very gently and get the residue off right after but a blow dryer is something that should be in everybody's cleaning kit i think it's a very very underrated item to have in a cleaning kit and i think everybody should have it in their cleaning kit well that's what's in my cleaning kit i'd love to know what's in yours in the comments down below and please do me a favor visit do you nerd and let them know i sent you and uh, please give them a subscribe a follow and even a like on their videos thanks guys